John Fortune is one of my favorite ham radio operator Elmers on the planet. And he's got a book on slot antennas and it also includes this cube slot. Now this cube slot is really cool, uh, but not everybody wants to go and buy a bunch of plumbing and solder everything together and that can be a bit of a pain. What if I told you you could build this antenna out of foam core board and foil tape? That's what we're going to cover today and I'm going to show you how to make this. The performance of this antenna is nothing short of spectacular. Given that it is made from dollar store or foam core board or you could use cardboard or plywood, whatever you want. Now someone's going to say that foam core board does not handle the elements very well and yes. You are absolutely correct. It does not. This is something that you would put inside or you'd use during uh, fair weather. If you want to make something a lot more durable, then maybe look at getting some EVA or craft foam and making it out of that. That would be a lot more robust. There is plans and there is a link down in the description if you want to get them. So what do you need for this build is you need some copper foil tape. Now we've got one inch wide copper foil tape We've got a BNC connector. You can change that out to whatever connector that you want. And we also have your standard accoutrements like wire cramps and wire. Um, here's where things get a little different is I went to the dollar store and got some foam core board. Now the reason why I'm using foam core board is that it cuts via my laser very easily. And you can also cut it by hand very easily for those that don't have a laser cutter. In the plans, you're gonna find that this prints out on eight and a half by 11 sheets, and these sheets, you can just print off the last four pages, will give you the templates. So you literally will just tape these down onto your foam core board and cut around them, and you will get the pieces that you need to make this. One of the first things that you're gonna to need to do is to take a three millimeter, four millimeter cut out of the edge of a couple of these panels, and you will see me doing this here. And what that does is it allows you to do sort of like a tongue and groove or a miter joint and you can hot glue everything together via that. Take all these pieces and slowly but surely hot glue them together and make this structure completely whole. You are totally going to be able to figure out how to do this build by just watching here. One thing that I've had problems with while I was editing this is seeing my shaky hands. So. Let me tell you a little story while we're doing the build. I had an incident about a year ago, a medical incident, where um, it has caused me to have exceptionally trembling hands. And you'll notice in this video while I'm gluing things up that I shake really badly when I try to load up my hands. I can do light duty things fairly easily. And if I brace my hands, I'm fine. But if I, my hands are floating out in air, you'll notice that I shake really, really bad. Now, why am I telling you this? Is that in the past, uh, my life has been in engineering and building props and special effects for movies. Now, it's become exceptionally difficult for me to do so. Plus, with the strikes and everything, I haven't worked for a very long time. Now, I'm not one to sit there and ask for handouts or anything like that. So what I'm going to be doing during this video is at the end of the video, you can get the plans for this and you'll be able to download them. But you can do that at my Patreon and you'll be able to do a one off shot and purchase them for five bucks. Or I would prefer that you become a member. And if you do become a member, I'm going to put up design plans that you can download and make on your own. Now this is an antenna that you can make at your kitchen table with a hot glue gun. I think it's worth the five bucks for the PDF. Any and all support is truly appreciated. And even if you don't have any money because I'm one of those broke people, please feel free to even just leave me an encouraging word down below. Leaving me comments definitely helps me make some more of these videos.
Right, so now that we are taping up this, we're throwing the copper foil down, you'll notice that I made a mistake here and I ripped the copper foil tape. Now the thing is, is that with a copper foil tape and aluminum tape, one of the great things about it is, is that you can literally tape over top of it and not have to replace that entire section. You can extend it out by just making sure that you have a fairly decent overlap. That all being said is we've got the crimps and you'll notice that because this is foam core board it is not very strong so I am going to goop as much of the hot glue that I can over top of this BNC connector to give me some rigidity for when I am transmitting. How do you mount this antenna? Well first of all it weighs like zero. It hardly weighs anything. I made holes in it in the very bottom here and this will hold a three quarter inch PVC pipe and you can place that up in there. That pipe can be drilled into the ground or mounted onto a fence post. There's multiple ways you can deal with this. This simply can be placed onto a table and you can transmit from that. So if you take it out camping or something like that or you can place this up in your attic or in a room that has very little uh, radio noise in it and static and you should be able to transmit quite nicely. All of the materials that you're going to need for this are copper foil, foam core board and everything. All the links will be down below for you to purchase. Now here are the first tests of this antenna and like I said um, given the fact that it's a few dollars of copper foil tape, a dollar store foam core board piece that's maybe a buck uh, and some connectors, you can't beat it. So I'm going to do my usual weather check and honestly this is the clearest in this location I have ever heard that. I'm hoping there's no dog poop in the in the background here but this is Victor Echo 6, a Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray, doing a radio check on a new box slot antenna. Can anybody pick me up? The six Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray is the C6 Julie Whiskey Lima. Was it me you were wanting to catch up with Ben? Uh, yeah, I just made a new antenna and, and like the receiving gain on this thing is insane. I made a slot box antenna that John Parching did, but flattened it out and made it out of foam core board and some tape. It'd be just great, Ben. We've got a picture of your duct tape antenna in our presentation. Man. Super spectacular stuff coming up. I think I might have found the unicorn of all antennas and... Um, I can't wait to share that with you, but because I am an entrepreneur, I am going to make sure that I have a provisional filing or patent pending status on it before I show you guys a bunch of stuff. But I can show you a few hints, and here's one of them. This here is an antenna. And I haven't wrecked it by doing that. Again, it would be very appreciated if you hit subscribe, hit like, leave comments, and especially if you would purchase the PDF for the plans of this and or join my Patreon, you have no idea how much that would mean to me. I appreciate everybody, and this is Victor Echo 6, Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray, and I am going to clear this channel.